Hello everyone, and welcome back to more If My Heart Had Wings. I know it's been a while, not only has it been a while since I posted this on YouTube, but I've also haven't recorded this for a while. Last time I recorded this was the last episode, obviously, that you saw with the whole Agatha situation. Yeah, it may have been hot for a minute, but if you saw how last episode ended, which I actually had to go back and watch because I almost forgot, uh, Agatha basically did not take to Aoi's advances. Aoi confessed his love, and Agatha said, F that, I'm out. She didn't even say no. She just was like, I'm out. I'll see you later. Peace out. <laughs> like, she didn't She didn't want nothing to do with it. Scared of commitment? I don't know. Scared to fall in love? I don't know. But today, we may find that out. The Agatha path continues, my friends. So we just got home, I think, right... This is, like, pretty much right after Agatha said nothing and then ditched us. And we're home, and we get... Miss Boobles, hey Conoco, how you doing? A one, a two, let's go. Oh, uh, what? What's over? Everyone was glad from the bottom of their hearts they held up their cups for a toast. What? It was over. Oh, right. It's the day after the exams. Like, basically right when the exams ended, that's when Owie confessed to Agatha. Right, I remember now. All right, anyway, it was over, this stressful time. Those those days and end of term exams. I know, right? That's because she's a beast, y'all. Uh, duh. <laughs> I was just like, damn it. Indeed. It's because you had all that practice with your hands. Uh, that's the sound I made as I was sinking into in depression. Don't mind me, I'm just sulking because, you know, the one I love said nothing. Uh uh. I did. I did what I could, but still. Still. Something tells me Aoi is not complaining about the exams. Just saying. Nothing. I'm gonna cook. I stood up sluggishly, turned my back at everyone, and headed towards the kitchen. Right now, I just wanted to keep my hands busy with anything. Hmm? Was that a honk? Did I hear a honk? Oh, it's my boy Anshan. What up, dog? Sweet. Does that mean I don't have to make dinner? Thanks. Ah, that's right. I could probably discuss everything with Anshan. That's true. Anshan probably knows a little bit more about Agatha's situation and why she would dump me. Why she would be like, nah. I just think it's because she's that not that kind of girl, but maybe there's more to it than that. We shall see. Yahoo! Oh, and look who he brought! Ah, it's shit, dude. Ah! Hmm? Anshan noticed that I froze up and followed my gaze that was fixed on Aga. I wanted to talk to him, but he left right away. Hoi hoi, minna! Damn it, Agatha. I don't like this. As I stayed a bit away, Agatha briskly, briskly walked in in strangely high spirits. But it's all fake, man. She's putting on the face. She's good at it. Mighty Moshta! What? Did, what? Noise. Oh. Double nice, no dinner, awesome. All right. You really need glamour right now? Y'all just hungry. That's what I'm saying. Just eat. <laughs> oh, great. Rumors. Look at all these rumors. Be Kanako spreading that. 
Kanako-san put her mouth close to Yoru-chan's ear. She started whispering something. And then at that moment... Wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's funny. Oh, we're all going to be perverts someday. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> Holy moly. I have no objections. <laughs> Kanako, just trying to start that all-girl orgy with one dude. One dude. <laughs> Not on this day. <laughs> you mean you don't even have to get drunk to get all fucking horned up? Come on now. <laughs> Seems that everyone completely forgot that I'm a guy. Uh-huh. I certainly haven't, and apparently you haven't either. You're just lying to yourself. You're the one who exposes the most skin around here. I mean, look at that. You just got a collarbone just hanging out. You know what I mean? You don't even wear a bra. If you do, it's one of those strapless ones, which, you know, yeah. That's what I normally would have said, but can we talk later? I whispered so that no one else could hear. Oh, but why? Damn. Aga, you cold whore! What the hell? But... Of course not. Okay. So does that mean your answer is yes? Why, why do we gotta wait, man? But I don't understand why. How can I understand if you don't say? I don't just... I can't me read your damn mind. I've said everything. All that's left is your answer. Taking over the world. Just like we do every day, baby. <laughs> oh, that's right. Katori, I want you to hear something, too. I'll confess to Agha one more time in front of everyone. If I do that, even she won't be able to talk her way out of it. Oh god, are you really going to do this right now, Aoi? Oh, this is going to be awesome if he does. Actually, I... Uh-oh, uh-oh. What does Hataru know? What? Oh, what the hell are they doing? Are they all feeling up on this little girl right now? <laughs> I think that's exactly what's happening. Good lord. <laughs> what a random thing to compare them to. Good lord. <laughs> ah, the older girl started going on a rampage. Stop raping the little ones! That's not what we're supposed to do! Am I, am I the Owl Ranger? I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be me? That sounds extremely stupid, you know. <laughs> the two girls were turning their fangs at Hataru. Whoa, you two, pl please stop. Uh, stop it. Oh, God. Run away. What kind of practice are you talking about? Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. Bad idea. See what I, see what I meant? 
This is the all girl orgy. The all or all female one male orgy or I don't even what, don't they have a name for that? The reverse gangbang is that what they call that? Something like that. Anyway, that's some shit right there. You shouldn't be practicing that. No wait, that's whoa. No, don't take off my clothes. Oh my god. Uh -oh. oh my god. This is like dream come true accident status. Come on now. Oh my lord. <laughs> is that okay? It's not okay. It's rape, actually. But you know what? Maybe he'll like it. And then he won't tell anyone. Or maybe it'll traumatize him forever and you all go to jail. It's up to you. Whoa, they're all like zombies. Crazy, sexy zombies. <laughs> oh, God. Wh who are you trying to be? And what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm on the side of amusement, damn you. You're the worst. Save me! Oh my god, Agatha wants to play this game too? What the hell? <laughs> and Natoru's like, yep, let's do it! Uh, Katori, that's just because you can't do it easily, but we can help you if you need to. Ah, someone still has common sense here. <laughs> it is a pretty ridiculous conversation, I gotta say. It was fun, though. Whew! That was awful. Yeah, you saved me there. Thanks. I know, right? They were about to rape an innocent young child. Well, an, an innocent young man that isn't that innocent, but you know what I meant. The scariest part is that they got like this even without drinking. <laughs> what do you mean, get high? Get being drunk is not the same as being high. Don't even act like it is, Aga. You don't know. What do you know? Child. Anyway, you're the last person who should be saying that. Oh yeah, that. Uh, less important at the moment. Ugh. She caught me off guard and I got flustered. Uh, well, that was, um... In cases like this, momentum is very important. Now that my resolve was weakened by all the silly ruckus, I was overcome by embarrassment. Yeah, it was super important. Fuck you too, Agha. Whoa! Wait, what? What are we telling her? Oh. Oh, are we telling you now? I didn't know this is what we were telling her. Huh? The mood immediately became tense. Katori replied, replied, uh, replied frankly, barely taking a breath. Uh-huh. Resolve? Well, that's nice of you. Hell yeah. Duh, the licensed pilot. A duh. でもそれだと、あげよ。そりゃ、私だって飛んでみたいし、モーニンググローリーなんてすごいもの見てみたいってのはあるけどね。でも、物理的に飛べるのは二人だけで、飛ぶ機会は多分一度だけ。Based on how it has to go, it's got to be Aoi and someone. それなら、身を引くのは私よね。それで、いいの。あんまりつっかないの。考え変えるわよ。ごめん、意地悪する気はないから。実際私飛ぶよりも作る方が好きでね。新型作るために色々動かなきゃならないし。そしたら操縦の練習してる時間ないし。やらかんで身を引くのよ
Agatha told us to follow her and we went outside. The moon was shining in the night sky. Unfortunately, it wasn't a full moon, but the sky was quite bright nevertheless. Everest, also called Choma Lungma? The fuck? Who calls it Choma Lungma? I've never even seen that before. Um, Hillary and Tenzing, I think? Okay. I didn't realize it wasn't until 1953 that somebody actually climbed that mountain. Good lord. No. There were two failures who didn't make it to the top. That's who those were. But it was too late. Feet was already done. At least the first recorded people. It doesn't mean nobody ever climbed it that we didn't, but we just don't know. I see where she's going with this. She's basically just trying to point out that even building the glider is good enough. It doesn't matter who flies it. Exactly. Exactly. Super cute. ヒーローよ。でもそのヒーローも一から全部自分でやったわけじゃない。うん。これまでの人たちが挑戦して体で試したソービアやり方を使いながら登って。うん。これまでの人たちが切り開いたルートを伝って登頂したんだから。You're talking a lot today, Agatha. それがいいなって、この一年で心から思うようになったの。自分が飛ばなくても飛べる人の手助けができるっていう。それが本当に嬉しいのよ。だから私は自分のできる限りのことをして、できる限り最高の時代を作る。あなたが。あなたの操縦で、それが私が飛ぶっていうことでもあるんだから。Yeah. Katori and I were lost for words. Agatha, she felt this way. Katori said in a choked up voice. 飛ぶから。私、絶対に飛ぶから。I'm sorry, Agatha. I said this from the bottom of my heart. Agatha had been thinking this way, and I was only seeing the tip of my nose. Let's fly! Let's make the dream we've had this past year come true, baby! The three of us placed our hands together, but just as we were about to rise our voice, we were interrupted. Hey, we're part of the team, too! I mean, you, you are the newest members. You're just grunts. You can be the leaders some other day. You're just a couple of grunts. <laughs> oh, dang. We all bowed to them in an apology. Oh! Sorry, I should have done that too. You know, in unison. Anyway, really now, that's something you'd do before a match, is what I would have said. But I can't deny that my blood was burn. I can't deny that my blood was burning with excitement. This definitely isn't the time to confess my feelings. Agatha smiled as if she saw right through me. It was a little irritating. Oh, I'll get to you later, bitch. And then. And then. 
All right. The exam results were out. Everyone in the soaring club, the three of us and the Kazato sisters, managed to avoid the supplementary lessons. Yeah, it was. I'm ashamed of myself. Agatha and I were right beside each other in the rankings. Had our rank been three positions lower, we would have had to take supplementary lessons. Yeah. Shh! What's the shh for? I'm confused. I guess we're just telling her to shh so we don't hit say let's get to work too loudly. Anyway, it was just before the closing ceremony. We've been hanging around here, fully prepared to immerse ourselves in the work in our club. But, hmm? After all, Agatha hasn't shown up today either. Everyone was quietly absorbed in the construction of the fuselage or practice with the flight simulator. When we were like this, of course, all I could think about was Agatha. We did it here, right in this place. Building the glider was the highest priority. That's our dream. That's why it comes first. Confessing and dating comes later. That's what Agatha said, and I understood where she was coming from. I was really moved when she was talking about those mountain climbers. But I had gathered all my courage and confessed my feelings clearly. She could give me some kind of reply at the very least. Even just a single word, or just like, give me a kiss and say, yes, but let's deal with this later. You know, like, you know, give me, give a reciprocation if you, if you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna say yes, at least indicate that you're gonna say yes. Damn it. Anyway. She told me she didn't hate me, but she should have known full well that wouldn't be enough to give me peace of mind. Oh yeah, I don't hate you, so we're good. I'm like, what? Do you like me at least? A little bit? Maybe? That's because saying that someone isn't a bad person or that you don't hate them are things you'd say to people when you reject them. Just one word would be enough. Whether it would be, I love you, or sorry, I don't see that see you that way, I wouldn't mind it. Hearing neither of those answers and being kept in the dark like this is far more painful. I wish it cleared up. Whoa! Uh, Katori firmly pointed her finger at the door. Um... What? What about outside? What? Beasy, please. You don't know me. Oh, damn. President's orders? Well, then I better listen. Sure the girl in the wheelchair is going to make me leave. Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Fine. Well, with that, I really went outside. Man, it's hot. Well, it's a good occasion to drop by Anchan's workshop. There were some parts that we asked him for, and he might also teach me some new techniques and professional skills. Also, I'd sure like to talk to him about this whole situation with Agatha and get some advice here as well. All right then, Anchan, teach me your ways. Ah, unfortunately, Anchan was away. Apparently, he headed out to our secret base just now. Wait, what? So we just passed each other? He also took the parts we asked him for, so I was heading back empty-handed. Well, double lame. And then he's gonna get back, and he's not gonna be there either. Should I go back to the secret base? Hmm, it still feels too early. <laughs> right. What? Whoa! Yeah, where the fuck did you come from? You totally did! <laughs> you didn't see me hiding in the shadows. You have a lot to learn, young Audi. You have a skill like that? <laughs> One of those is the ass kick, right? <laughs> I will master it soon. You will see. I will demonstrate on you. Please don't try it out on me, man. Of course I guessed that. And who assigned you to this official inspector role? Did Agatha tell you to do this? <laughs> I am my own master. From which manga does this la does that line come from? So in other words, you're following me around of your own accord. I, <laughs> Minase Aoi, don't hang out with the Himegi sisters just for show. I made a cool pose and brushed my hair with my hand. That's mean. Oh, You're actually quite merciless, aren't you? Oh, damn. She just said she likes me. Thanks for that follow-up. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. Felt my heart throb at that moment. 
A once-in-a-lifetime confession? Well, you're right. A confession is something you should respond to seriously, yeah. I'm sorry, Hitaru. <laughs> ah, you didn't intend to forgive me. Come with you where? I don't know if I I don't know if I'm okay with this. I wanted to rhyme with it, but I can't think of anything. Oh. Yeah, it's still early, so I'm gonna have some spare time. I sent Katori an email and walked together with Hitaru. Going shopping with a different Himegi sister. Yay! Hitaru wanted to buy some writing materials, so we walked around shop selling those. She bowed deeply. No problem. Didn't take long at all. Unlike Agatha. Anyway, in that regard, you two are really similar. Similar. Yeah, you take your time to check things, but when it comes to deciding what to get, you don't hesitate at all. Oh, and by the way, the other day, you said you were rolling in my room. What was that about? She was rolling something. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, it was in my room. <laughs> Since you were doing it in my room, I think I have the right to know what it was. <laughs> ah, good shit. Hmm? When you say something like that, I want to know what it is even more, you know. <laughs> exactly. Just tell me. I need some. I need something. Oh, normally I just throw something suit suitably silly right back at her, but for a moment an image of Agatha from back when we were having sex had crossed my mind. Yeah, that's because it should. Hataru's at her sister, so they definitely resemble each other. So if I really needed to picture a different girl when I'm doing that, I could just picture Agatha, but with this face, even though it's like the same face, but longer hair and orange little balls on her hair. N no, no, I, I won't. I won't. I wouldn't do anything like that. I was completely flustered. N no, I, I mean... I mean, you're the one bringing up... You know what? Never mind. Well, you see... What do you... No. No, nothing. I mean, yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> she looked at me as if she didn't believe a single word. That is not an equal trade. Because if I tell you what we did to Agha, it will break your little heart. That's, um... That kind of deal is... Oh. Weird. At that time, in my room? I feel like you were probably doing more than just rolling around. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what you were doing? That's way... No, 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 no. That is not a fair trade. Ah! Yes, I will. I will in this case. It will happen. Did you learn this form of attack from Agatha? <laughs> what a nasty trait. Oh, um, um, there isn't a country in the world where men know how to do this. <laughs> you want to get assaulted? Oh, damn. She went there. Hey, don't do this in public. I wiped the sweat from my forehead. That's no good. I got caught up in her pace. All of this started because I got flustered. I have to pull myself together, man. That aside, I'm surprised you can talk like this now, Hataru. And it's all because of you. Why me? Oh lord. Such confessions. Love? Huh? Ah. She must be talking about the time when we used to come here with Aga. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. They are sisters, alright. They even bring up the same topics. Well, it's something all three of us experienced together, so that's a given, I guess. Too bad that's, that it was destroyed. We sure played a lot in those ruins. Really? Wasn't it tough that we were dragging you along when we were going to play? That's good. Well, I see. Well, that's good to hear. I miss those days. I didn't see it getting demolished, so I didn't really experience it firsthand. Did you see it? 
Our secret base getting destroyed? Huh? About what? I have no idea what you're talking about. I tilted my head slightly. Did something happen? N no, nothing. A shadow crossed Ataru's face. I've never seen her look like this. It was a disturbed expression. A mixture of surprise, panic, realization of an error, and feelings of guilt. Wait, what is it? Did something happen? Agatha obviously hasn't told me anything, but neither has Anchan or Masatsugu. Yeah, something definitely happened. Taro's behavior made it clear. Was that something she doesn't want me to know? I'm not angry. It's Agatha's business, right? I didn't even know that something happened. Thought so. Why didn't you tell me? Taro responded timidly, but clearly. Fair enough. Huh. I want to know now. See, now now this is another little what? What are we talking about? I clenched my fist reflexively. One year. It's already been a, a year since I returned to this town. I thought that I'd already filled all the gaps from the time I wasn't here. Are there still some things I don't know about? Are there things being kept a secret from me? Did everyone agree to tell me the same thing? What What was it? What the heck happened? Yeah, I do. Please, tell me. Shoot. Oh, this is blackmail now. Fuck that. Huh? By date, you, you mean going out together? Damn. That's your deal? <laughs> I will tell you if you take me on a date. Uh, no, I can't do that. Agatha isn't just an acquaintance to me. I won't go out on a date with another girl, even if it's your younger sister. Sorry. <laughs> then I'll think of some other way. Oh, the evil is back. Hey! <laughs> I'd rather you gave up, though. I will never pull back until you have pulled out. What? What woman? <laughs> okay, then. Isn't that your mother? Moreover, around this time, she's probably working at Hamegi Sports on the first floor. Ah, but if she's dwelling somewhere inside of you, you're dangerous as well. <laughs> Told you I can't. I said it clearly and put my hand on Hitaru's head. <laughs> Padding's unfair! You play dirty! So cute. You're really cute, Hitaru. <laughs> I'm sorry. Instead of the date, you'll have to do with this. I'll try asking Agatha about it first. If that doesn't work out, I'll ask you again, okay? <laughs> Hitaru nodded with a loose and satisfied expression. Okay, so now we have some other secret from Agaha we need to know. Damn it. Anyway, I called Agaha as soon as I parted with Hotaru. Do you have a moment? Are you working on something right now? Alright then. It's not about your response the last time. Before that, I want to ask you about one thing. What are you hiding from me? Something about our old secret base. I could clearly tell that Agatha has caught her breath. After I moved away, something happened, right? Look, you can dodge the question or even say nothing. But please don't lie. I don't want the girl I love to do something like that. When I said this, Agatha fell completely silent. So what happened? It was back when I changed schools and when our secret base was demolished, right? Is it something you can't tell me? Aga still hasn't responded. Why were you hiding it from me for all this time? Why can't you tell me? Is it something that would hurt me? Then why is it so hard to say, damn it? Then what is it? If you don't tell me, I'll investigate it myself. That doesn't matter. Don't change the topic. 
You have a lot of secrets, don't you? You told me before that it's better not to know some things, but it just makes me anxious. Well, I'm getting a little hot-headed now, so I won't pry any further for now. The fact that I kept calm so far was a result of my discipline from bicycle races. Next time, we'll have a thorough talk face-to-face. -face. With that, I ended the call. I thought Agatha would say something, but she stayed silent till the end. This made me even more irritated than before. That's why I immediately made another call. Ah, Hataru, it's a better talk from before. Actually, it's okay. I'll take you on a date. Let's go out, just the two of us. Damn, it do that quick of a turnaround. It's like, all right, Agatha, you want to play that game? Going out with your sister. Suck it. <laughs> I love this. This is such a this is such a more relationship, like like uh like drama relationship path than the other two really were. The drama in those one was just between you and the girl, but this one's like the other people are involved in it. It's kind of hilarious, like the actual relationship part of it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Ah, good times. Anyway. anyway. Thanks, teacher. You're so nice. After the closing ceremony in the, in the morning, we returned to our classroom for homeroom. With that finished, the first term was over. It's the start of summer vacation. Finally, it's our second summer. If we're lucky, soon our dream will come true. But, alright, I'm heading out. I told Katori I was going to be to the piloting training center. In fact, I was supposed to focus on practicing to make up for the training I skipped during exams. However, it seemed that Katori sensed something was up. She was stealing glances at me and Agatha. As for Agatha, I haven't spoken to her since this morning. We both weren't talking with each other at all. Agatha has plenty of friends and was chatting with them normally as if nothing happened. I was trying to act normally as well. I'm not sure if it worked, though. I've been constantly irritated since that phone call. What is she hiding? I'm so angry that I didn't even feel like pressing her for an answer anymore. That's why I went out on a date with your motherfucking sister. Oh, you're here. A small figure approached, frantically pedaling a cute bike. <laughs> Did you wait long? Oh, sorry. That's a taro. Sorry. Not at all. This place is quite far away, so it can't be helped. Getting ready takes some time, too. You're already wearing it underneath? Hataru turned red. She's so cute. No way, don't tell me you bought a new one. You really did, huh? You didn't need to go that far. What did she buy a new one of? Are they going swimming? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, you've grown in you've grown to adulthood, have you? <laughs> Sorry. I honestly felt a little bad. Alright, shall we go? Her face was so red it looked like she was about to have a heat stroke. Let's get there quickly and cool down. Hi, 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 hi. We are going swimming, aren't we? Yup, called it. We arrived at our secret spot. This was Hataru's request. So wait, Hataru's never been here? Or maybe she's never been here with us, or what? That's right, Hataru wasn't with us back then, was she? I wanted to go swimming for a while now, so it's perfect. First we put down our things and got ready to swim. I wore my swimsuit underneath my clothes, so all I had to do was take off my shirt and pants. I went ahead and did a warm up by myself. From what Hotaru said before, it seems she also wore her swim swimsuit underneath her clothes, and she should be ready shortly. But of course, I don't do anything sleazy like watching her from the corner of my eye. As I waited patiently, without looking at her... So, oh. Did she say it out loud? Or, oh, whatever. Hotaru shyly walked up to the water side, while trying to make her slender body look even smaller. And... Hataru isn't the kind of person who makes a racket when they go swimming. But still, while she was lightly splashing her feet in the water, she had such a bright smile that I've never seen before. Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get a shot of Hataru in her swimsuit? What the fuck? Gypped. I feel gypped. Anyway, alright, let's do this. Of course we had to do that. The Soaring Club's custom climbing up on the rock and throwing her off and hopefully she doesn't die. Come on, don't cling to me. I held her in my arms and swung her back and forth to build momentum. A one, a two, and a three. <laughs> Sploosh. Go! I threw my arm high up in a triumphant pose and then jumped in after her. Oh, I lied. 
Never mind. Adorable swimsuit pick attained. After swimming around for about an hour, Hotaru got out of the water and stretched out on the sand to catch her breath. Again, I saw something rare. A smile showing total liberation. Tired? It's good that you curled up. If your arms and legs flailed all over, you might have fallen at the wrong angle and belly flopped. Now that you overcame it, you're one of us. Falling into the water from a rock is nothing compared to stalling in a glider. Yeah, I'm gonna fly through that sky. When I looked up, my field of vision was filled by the sky. I will fly through the sky with our wings. With the combined efforts of everyone from the Soaring Club. Everyone, huh? Hey, Taru? I guess it's high time to try asking about the main thing. I mean, look at well, the fucking outfit you're wearing. How can they not be? Huh? She said something completely unexpected, so I got a little confused. Huh? Uh, no, that's, uh... I mean, yours, yours look nice. Plus, if you wear a small-ass bikini and show basically, like, 90% of it, you know, what was there not to look at, you know what I'm saying? That's not how I judge girls. Stop talking like breasts can be only either be big or small. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she just inferred that. You're so picky. It's like, bitch, all I said is they're not just big or small. What the fuck? Don't talk like I'm some sort of breast connoisseur. <laughs> Taro looked at her breasts. Sure. Well, I guess. I hesitated to look straight at them, so I subtly averted my gaze. But I could still see them quite clearly from the corner of my eye. I already thought that when I first saw her in her swimsuit. They're bigger than I expected. If I look, you'll call me a pervert, right? Don't say such risky things. A guy might misunderstand something. Damn, this girl. Jesus Christ. Anyway, you're at it again. Hey. Taro's eyes were glistening and her eyelids narrowed a little. Just that made her so alluring, as if she was a different person. That's right. She looked just like Agaha back then. Good lord. No, that's... My heart was racing dangerously. Wet skin, wet hair. Her body was grown up and had definite feminine features. Earlier I just casually held her in my arms, but even now I can clearly recall the feel of her flexible, soft skin. Her swimsuit clung to her wet skin, her modest yet shapely breasts, her exposed thighs, and her lips. Her barely there existing lips. They had the same shape as Agha's, and they were glittering waiting for me to... Huh? Taru closed her eyes. She beat me to the punch in her hand, and my hand froze in midair. Do it properly. But, to be honest, Taru is really cute. It's not flattery. She really has turned into a beautiful girl. Her body has definitely become feminine and cute. And unlike Aga, she's not impossible to read and isn't irritating me. My heart was racing with a warm, lustful beat, just like when I did this with Aga. My body was burning and my groin started reacting as well, expecting similar experiences back then. No, this is Hitaru. It's not Aga. Her eyes, the features of her face, her lips, they're very similar. I knew that if I touched her, I would feel that sweet sensation. My body instinctively heated up. But she looks similar. She resembles her more than anyone else in the world. However, she isn't Agaha. Ugh! Hataru quietly opened her eyes. Her eyes were shining with such a strong light that it almost made me falter. That obedient, reserved Hataru was a completely overwhelming me. I stayed quiet while I felt her eyes pulling me in. 
Taro asked without changing her expression. Uh. What? The same? Wait, you... That was a leading question? <laughs> That's... Yeah, it's because she was feeling the ecstasy. Huh? ペットもいて <laughs> Jesus. Somebody was feeling it the next day, you know what I'm saying? Hey. You have quite the guts to spy on her like that. Wait, what? You may look like Himegi Hitaru, but your real identity is Himegi Hitaru? What the hell is that supposed to mean? That what? Those are the same! <laughs> okay. Huh? Damn. That does gotta be kinda weird, right? From her perspective? <laughs> I figured if I made you cheat on her with me, then I'd feel better about myself. Are you okay with this? As she said this, Ataru took my hand and pulled it towards her wet swimsuit. What? The damp swimsuit had a slightly rough texture, and beneath it, there was a soft bulge. All my senses focused on my palm. It felt like my blood was boiling. Oh no, if she does something like that, my body will follow male instincts. After all, Hitaru is cute and quite to my taste. If she's okay with it, could I call myself a man if I declined? Can I refuse her advances? No one would see it. So if we kept it a secret, but the hotter my body was getting, the more vivid the image of someone else's face in my mind was becoming. And that sight overcame my instincts. Sorry, I won't do that. I gently moved my hand back. Oh man, you're so noble, Aoi. <laughs> oh, that's why, yeah, that's the one reason. If you had bigger boobs, I'd do it, but because they're not match any chons, I can't do it. No, it's not about that. I slowly closed my eyes. When I did that, I saw a face that resembled Hitaru's, but had a smile that was fascinating me so much more. I won't betray the girl I love. When I said this, my body was filled with a different kind of heat. I like you. You're cute and you've grown up. My heart is still racing because of you. But I've loved Agatha since a long time ago. She's like, and okay, but how's that going now? Fuck her. I'm right here. I'm right now. I want this. Yeah, she's driving me nuts. But it can't be helped that I'm bothered by that. If it was someone I didn't care about, I wouldn't pay it any mind. If I didn't know Agatha, I would have fallen for you, no doubt about it. I patted her on the head. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was wondering if she would start crying or get angry, but... She smiled? Good? She's like, good, because now you didn't cheat on me, or cheat on her with me, I don't have to tell her about that, because it didn't happen. Cool. Okay, cool. Are you going to always try to be a homewrecker and break us up, or are you guys going to try to be, like, joining in and shit? Because I don't know if Aga's going to be in on that, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Okay. 
Is that so? So, Ah-chan ga anna ni uresh sou ni shite runo hisashiburi? Aoni ga modotte kuru made uchi no naka da to anmari warawa na katta no. Really? So, tomodachi wa takusan iru kedo uchi ni asobi ni kuru hito i nai shi asobi ni iku hito mo i na katta. Now that she mentioned it, Agatha did say that herself, that she doesn't have anyone else she would call a close friend. That incident? The one related to our secret base? Tell me right now. God damn it. God damn it. You shouldn't play around like that. <laughs> she wants to try some risky thing. Well, if I can't touch you with my own body, you know, we could, we could, we could find a way to work it out. You know what I'm saying? You're still too young for that. <laughs> Just tell me already. <laughs> Don't yell at me. I'll run away. Did you pick that up from your sister? At that moment, I heard a loud noise behind me. Hotaru opened her eyes wide and let out a loud scream. I was surprised by her reaction and scream. In the next instant, before I even turned around, I saw it reflected in Hotaru's eyes. It appeared from beneath the water. A demon! Oh god, what the fuck? Who invited you? Ah, it's for real! Hotaru! <laughs> The soaked demon. No, no, no. I mean, Agatha dashed in our direction, splashing water around. It was Agatha, no doubt about it. Why are you... <laughs> that answer didn't explain anything. <laughs> As she said this, she lunged at Hitaru and picked her up. Hey! As I raised my voice, Agatha shot me a terrifying glare that froze me on the spot. I was covered in sweat. But while still holding up Hotaru, Agatha ran away like a gust of wind. Wait, what? Good lord. Okay. I felt as if my soul had left my body. I dried off, changed, packed up Hotaru's things, and waited. Didn't take long. Wait, what happened to the bathing suit? The hell? Hey, uh, welcome back? Without explaining anything, she got really close to me. To be exact, we were so close our noses were almost touching, and all I could see were Agatha's eyes. W what about Hataru? <laughs> I tied her up and threw her in the house. She left her tied up in her swimsuit? What kind of advanced erotic play is that? Oh, oh, it's fine, is it? She thinks that was the main issue? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. We didn't, we didn't. We almost did, but I stopped myself at the last moment. But we didn't do anything. Besides, whether we did it or not, it's not your business. How so? Who's? Then it has nothing to do with me, right? Agatha shut her mouth. And then she rapidly turned red. Who are you to me? I've already said it. I can't express my feelings any more clearly. Now, what about you? You haven't given me your answer yet. So we're still just acquaintances. Whatever I do with Hataru, you have no right to complain. <laughs> Damn. How we going hard with the fucking semantics here? He's like, bitch, it's not like you fucking said we're a girlfriend and boyfriend just because we did it. That was fun, right? But it, I mean, it don't mean nothing apparently to you. So if it don't mean nothing to you, it ain't mean nothing to me. I'll just go find some shit elsewhere, you know what I'm saying? As Agatha faltered, it was my turn to press her. You can do it right now. Just let me hear your answer. I love you and I want to go out with you. How about you? <laughs> Agatha's eyes darted around while her lips and cheeks were twitching. While she was making various faces, her mouth was flapping open and closed. Her already red face looked like it was about to explode and steam was almost bursting up from her head. She screamed, turned around, and splash. And she jumped into the lake? Hey, she wasn't even wearing a swimsuit. 
<laughs> what is she drowning herself? <laughs> she was still screaming as she swam towards the middle of the lake and sunk. Uh, whoa! A shiver down ran my spine. A shiver ran down my spine, and I hurriedly rushed after her. I dived in and swam towards Agatha as fast as possible. Whoa! Wait, my clothes! I'm still wearing them, and they were clinging to my body. Ah, shit, dude. Wet clothes again. Ah, damn, this is bad. I'm sinking. My feet could still reach the bottom, so I kicked up and rose to the surface, gra gasping for air. Right next to me, Aga was floating normally. Since she's so scantily clad, I guess she has no problems with swimming. But... <laughs> hey! You better be. I almost drowned! <laughs> Jeez, I'm soaked. Agatha was just as wet. The sun was still high in the sky, so we decided to bask in the sunlight. We should dry relatively quickly. If it was a sea, the salt would be a bother. It's good that it's a lake. Usually lakes are salty too, though, so I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Although, isn't this like a man-made lake or something? I don't know. Agatha's acting uncharacteristically docile, as if her personality was cleaned by the water. Of course I did. For jumping into the lake, an apology will do, but not for everything else. What's up with you? You've been acting so weird lately, I don't get it. If we hadn't known each other for so long, I'd really I'd be really angry with you right now, to the point where I'd just give up on you. I'm irritated, sure, but more than just anger, it's the urge to press you for answers. Agha let out a sigh of relief. But I am irritated for reals. Agatha looked like she just thought of something fun. Suddenly, she happily started taking off her clothes. Wait, what? Hey! Oh, okay. We'll just sit here nude on the beach. Although, you did tie Hataru up, so it might be a while before she gets out of that situation. Oh, we should just get naked and chill on the beach. That's cool. Alright. Well, theoretically, that's right, but... Agatha's legs were bare all the way up to her crotch. I couldn't help getting excited when I saw her only in her panties. Like this, Agatha leaned in close to me. Hey! Oh, damn. She's like, I'm not going to confess shit, but we can do that again right now if you know what I'm saying. She quite forcefully took off my shirt. She was staring at me fixedly. You know... No. I told you I didn't. Again? She rubbed her bare leg against mine. How did it come to this? Duh. That's because you're doing something like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look. Although I wanted to tell her off, the tone of my voice was getting less and less strict because you know you want this just as much as she does, brah. This situation was almost the same as the last time. Our clothes are wet, and we're close to each other, and, you know, whatever. But this time, the bright sunshine helped me keep my reason. Are you trying to dodge the issue? <laughs> That's part of it. How honest. Instead, you just don't tell me shit. But you'd lie to others? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I lie to everybody. Just not you. Instead, I just don't tell you shit. Yeah, I kind of get it already. But you are lying to me as well. Yeah, exactly. Why won't you tell me? <laughs> Why don't you want to? Yeah, but see, that's just because I haven't told you yet. You didn't ask. Uh... I mean, that's a solid point and everything. So you resort to this? While we were talking, Agatha's hand was sliding over my skin. <laughs> it wasn't just her hand. Her hips, covered only with panties, were also pressing against me. She was rubbing me with her thighs. Her cleavage was in plain sight. No, she was deliberately showing it to me. No matter what I did, my sight was attracted to it. It was impossible to react otherwise in this situation. <laughs> She's like, that's right. Ignore everything else. This is all you know. 
Sex. <laughs> she recited it like a poem and looked up at me with passionate eyes. Oh damn, marking you as mine? Uh oh, is she about to leave some marks on us right now? Uh oh. Like a dog or what? <laughs> oh, here we go. May I think of that as a confession? Instead of answering, she put her hand on my crotch. Well, let's go. Whoa! <laughs> She pulled my hand that had lost all strength to resist and placed it on her own crotch. All right, well then, here we go.